So today is the final update for Grounded, or the final planned update. It's the 1.4 fully yoked update. The game's also coming to PlayStation 4 and 5 Nintendo Switch. They premiered a update video, so I'm going to watch it live. I have not watched this yet, so I'm going to watch it live and kind of just give you my thoughts as it plays along. Adventurers, welcome to the latest vlog for update 1.4, rightfully titled Fully Yoked. This update is not just big, it's bulging with a ton of new content, features, and quality of life updates. So we already know about this. The Ant Queens are coming. So There's three new Ant Queens. That was revealed a couple of weeks ago. So... Grab your gear and let's also, the new game plus. Really curious if there's break. anything beyond the new game plus and the Ant Queens that are going to be added. So, the Ant Queens. But before you meet them, we need to tell you that they're not your typical fightable bosses. Interacting with an Ant Queen isn't about combat, but choices. So, at the bottom of the screen, there, there's three new weapons. Be a friend, and the colony becomes an ally. Uh, those are definitely not in the game right now. And brace yourself for some serious antitude. These choices aren't just one off decisions, they resonate throughout the colony affecting how these tiny warriors interact with you. Every encounter with an ant queen is critical, shaping your journey in the backyard. So think carefully, as your actions with the queen will have cascading effects that aren't immediately apparent. Plus, the ant queens aren't just about the drama, they bring 12 new ant queen related buildings, including new building pieces, okay. and chandeliers. And for pet lovers, get ready to And you can have pet ants, we already know about this. There's a new baby ant pet to collect and nurture based on one of the choices I'm going to check the patch the notes queen. after this is over just and to remember, see if there's anything that's not showed in the video. Have lasting impact. Choose wisely and watch how your relationship with these royal insects unfolds. Because they did say up, that there was going to be there was going to be stuff not revealed up to this point, so we'll see if they reveal anything here. Where you can replay the game with an added layer of complexity and challenge with a twist. In this mode, each playthrough transforms the yard. Spawning the house is a different color. Locations, offering new rewards, makes bosses more challenging, and reveals strange anomalies and Blue secrets. sandbox over there. Accessing this mode isn't a walk through the backyard. It's a victory lap after defeating the Broodmother, Mantis, Wasp Queen, and winning the Javamatic fight. Then, you can leap into alternate dimensions. So basically beating the game and doing mission. most of the optional bosses. In these remix dimensions, Creatures have a random chance to be infused with the power of raw science, making them faster now, and Look at the health bar on that thing. I watched the dev live stream from PAX East a couple weeks ago. I watched it like last week or so. Sometime ago, like last week or whatever. And the amount of damage the infused bugs were doing was crazy. So it's going to be interesting to see how balanced it is because I think they were playing a mild and I think they were only on like NG plus one and they were getting clobbered. Now, maybe they were playing on a higher NG+, plus, but it, they didn't say they were, so... Sour Katanya, there's new weapons. ...new randomized spots in the remix yards. Keep collecting them to stay as strong as the creatures... So basically, you, looks like you can scale infinitely. ...which also have randomized properties to give you more options on how to build your character. Lastly... Well, that was a burgle chip. That wasn't a trinket. ...to really reach the next level, you'll need to build a new yoking station. It's your go-to spot in Remix Fusion Yards Crystal, for that's up new. your weapons past level 9. Scour these new dimensions for unique materials. Fire Strategist Mask, Fire power, Strategist like Coat, Girth himself. Fire Strategist Pads. And there's pads. way more to discover and secrets to find in these Remix Yards. Have fun! As we come to the end of our fully yoked vlog for the 1.4 update, let's recap. Grounded is now more beefier than ever, with new content that transforms your backyard. So they said there was going to be more, so much so but I've not seen everything I've seen so far here. I've already seen before. I've seen either the PAX East stream or they did a dev live stream after that. They've also posted some videos in between. So most of this looks the same from what we not the same, but what we've already seen. That's definitely a new sword there. Xbox Series X. Windows Store, Steam, and just recently released on the PlayStation 4 and 5, and the Nintendo Switch, thanks to the incredible work There's by an infused ladybug. And for the collectors among you, Black Ops make sure to grab your physical Look how much health that thing, thing has. For Xbox One, Xbox Series X, PlayStation 5, and the Nintendo Switch. To our amazing Grounded community, we can't thank you enough for your passion and support. Although this is Grounded's last planned content update, our journey together doesn't end here. We'll continue improving, optimizing, and squashing bugs to ensure your experience is as immersive and enjoyable as possible. Until our paths cross again in the backyard, stay safe, and as always, stay grounded.
So that was the little trailer they revealed there. Honestly, there was not much shown there that had not already been seen. There's probably some weapons or something they haven't shown, but I'm just gonna skim through the patch notes. I'm not gonna read the top because I'm just gonna get to the bottom. We already know all this stuff. New neighbors, ant queens, and your decisions. So you can either befriend them, betray them, and then there's a third option, which they haven't revealed. I guess you'll have to get to go do that. Obviously, probably befriending them will mean they'll always be friendly to you. Betraying them would mean they probably would always be hostile towards you, even if they're not normally hostile. And then maybe, I wonder if the third one's maybe like you set an alliance with them or something. So then maybe the other two attack against you, something like that. That is definitely an interesting change. And I think these are, I think the ants are, the ant queens are actually in the game. I don't think you actually have to go into the remix version to get them. I think they're already in there from what I remember. Down here we got some, that's definitely a new sword. I've never seen that before. That's like an ice sword. So we have infused creatures. Yeah, like I said, I watched the PAX East. I rewatched the pack, or I watched it like a couple, I didn't even realize it was happening because I something was going on that weekend. And I watched it after the fact and I was watching their gameplay. The infused creatures are very strong. They are not, they're not something like to, you're going to be able to joke around with. They feel, they feel like even like basic ones were doing a lot of damage. So I, I can't even imagine fighting like an infused, like Black Widow. That would just be having an attack faster and doing more damage and having like a health bar that literally has so many little segments you can't count them. That would have to be terrifying. So they got some quality of life stuff. We already know about the bulk hulking up, so using the yoked girth station. This is the final this is the final content update, so I guess they'll still be doing patches and stuff after that. But let's get down to the patch notes. And ant queens, we already know about that. There's three ant queens. There's a red ant queen, the black ant queen, and the fire ant queen. Remix, which is new game plus. That was something when they added that door back in the previous update, I guess it was. It was a 1.3, 1.2, 1.3, I guess, when they added that new door. My initial thought was that they would be doing New Game Plus because what else would the door be taking you to unless it was a new area, but New Game Plus seemed like to be the most. New Game Plus, you have to access it by beating the Broodmother, Manus, and Wasp Queen and doing the Java Matic. So essentially doing three of the optional bosses, they excluded the Infected Broodmother. I wonder if they did that because the Infected Broodmother can be quite challenging for most players, but these three bosses you can handle if you're kind of geared up for it. And then you have to do the Java Matic fight. Actually, I guess the uh, directors also... Isn't the director optional? I think he might. I can't even remember, honestly, at this point. But these three are definitely optional. Uh, next up is going to be the infused creatures. So in Remix Backyards, creatures can be infused with the power of raw science. We already, okay, so they're definitely going to be, not only do they have more health, they do more damage, attack faster, but they also have unique properties. So I think in the live stream, some of them were doing like spicy damage or something like that. So they're going to be, there's going to be some crazy combinations. New trinkets. Uh, new, the good news is that infused creatures can drop special trinkets that are infused with raw science. These trinkets also have special randomized properties. Ominent badges can be collected again and have new properties. Every burgle chip awards new burgle chip trinket. Oh, that's why they were showing the burgle chip in the video. They too ha will have randomized properties to give more options on how to build your character. Uh, yoking station plus 10. We already know about that. That's going to let you keep scaling your weapons and armor, I guess, infinitely. I don't know how. They didn't say there was a maximum number of new game pluses. So each, and then there's also going to be the milk molars. So every time you load it to a new yard, it sounds like everything is randomized. So unless I miss something, it sounds like when you go through the first door for new game plus it's random. And if, if like your friend goes through in their save on a new game plus, it's going to be complete. It can be completely different. So that's, that is, that's definitely some, an interesting way of doing it and keeping it fresh for people so that it's not like, okay, new game plus here's where everything is new game plus two. Here's where everything is. So. Uh, new, ASL new ASL editions. There are a no large number of new additions to the sign shop. Check out the ASL for a new sign set, the yoking station, new weapons, equipment, and more. That can only be purchased in remixed yards. So one thing I haven't touched upon up to this point, and I was going to almost do a whole video on it after I watched the PAX E-Stream, is I'm, I guess one thing of concern I had from this update, everything I saw looked really cool. I'll be honest. Like the the whole new i'm not really into new game plus but all the new weapons the whole idea of new game plus it sounds cool but the fact that most of it seems to be locked behind new game plus and if you go look at the completion rate of the game it's somewhere around like one percent so like one percent of players overall between looking at the xbox players and the steam players it was hovering around like one percent on average of players complete the game which means only one percent or less of people would even be able to experience this new update now obviously if you've been playing it since launch or since early access you're probably in that one percent but for a lot of people they're just never going to see this which is unfortunate because a lot of this stuff looks really cool 
And I would honestly would like to have seen some of it, maybe some of the new weapons and stuff like that, make their way into the actual game. Because realistically, if only 1% of the people beat the game and they access New Game Plus, how many of those people are even going to go through a whole... How many New Game Pluses are they going to go through? So while this content looks really cool and really well done, other than not knowing how it's going to be balanced, I just think it's going to be... There's not going to be a lot of people that are going to experience it just because there's just not a lot of people that have finished the game. Uh, additional so new platforms obviously we know it's coming to playstation 4 and 5 nintendo switch today it's available right now additional new features bugs fight each other custom game option by default natural enemies will fight each other if they are near each other and neutral creatures will fight each other if struck accidentally this can now be turned off useful in playground modes when designing encounter rinse player yeah this was always a good feature you could actually i remember back when i figured out oh i can get these bugs to fight each other because i didn't have the right equipment like getting a stink bug to kill a bunch of uh bomb what is a bombardier beetles before I was like geared up was awesome because then I could get all the parts that I needed because one stink bug could go in and just uh, gas all the bombardier beetles and it was just cool or having like a ladybug go in and, and fight and get ladybug parts and stuff like that so that's definitely a cool feature and it's nice customization is always nice link colors uh links now have five color options I don't I don't even know what that, I guess that's for is that for teleporting or something or maybe that's supposed to be playground mode I didn't really do much with playground mode Quality of life features, multiplayer load. You can now load a save while in the middle of a multiplayer se multiplayer session. All connected clients will load into the new world once complete. Recover pets. New game repair option has been added to recover any pets that are currently not following you. Pets allocated to a pet house will also teleport to their house in case they're outside of terrain. Object capacity. Is this all playground stuff? It looks like it's all playground stuff. Uh, I'm just going to skip that to be completely honest because I just don't. I didn't play playground. I don't think most of you did too, but I'll leave a link to the patch notes in the description down below. Next up is going to be new buildings, 12 Ant Queen related buildings. So they showed some of these in the in the video we just watched at the beginning. Obviously the Yoking Station, the rugs they showed, they showed quite a few rugs in the PAX e stream. Termite King Pipe Organ, which was just like a like a giant piano and then whatever this redacted thing is. Three new ant pets. So basically each of the ants, you can get a red, red ant pet, a black ant pet, and a fire ant pet. Over 20 new items and equipment, over 20 new trinkets. A lot of these will only be found. A lot of these will be found. A lot of these will be only in New Game Plus. That's where I'm kind of. This is the kind of thing that's. I really wish they wouldn't have did that. I mean, I guess it's something to add to the New Game Plus, but all these new cool things that so many people are just not going to say. New mutation become one of the ants. Become one with the ants in the arch. So that's probably befriending one of the uh, ant alliances there. New sign set that can only be purchased in New Game Plus. Four new achievements: two for the base game, two for New Game Plus. Full Japanese play uh, voiceovers. Playgrounds, new content. Uh, I'm just going to skip that. Other changes. Atta okay, so we got attack speed, slow effects, no longer stack, animation. These are just bug fixes and stuff like that. And balancing, increasing attack speed for the scythe, lowering attack speed bonus granted by the battle axe combo finisher. Mighty upgrade path now applies an additional status effect, much like the sleek upgrade path. Okay, that's interesting because mighty really just added more damage. Trinket items that previously appeared as brown bags now have, share, now have a new share trinket model. Gold cards are not required for 100% of the report card. For So for the the large majority of people who couldn't get the 100% report card because this was actually fixed when the 1.0 update dropped, apparently this was bugged and you would get it way before you got all the gold cards. Well, they've got rid of this requirement because honestly, that probably prevented the super majority of people from getting the 100% of the report card because getting all the gold cards, super RNG and could take you honestly hundreds of hours if you just have bad luck. Uh, UI quest objects on the map show the quest name. Trail marker names are shown on the map when hovering. Improve image quality. Okay. New audio track added for new game plus. Playgrounds. Uh, zip. Okay. Optimization. Significantly reduce CP load, CPU load of the game. Significantly reduce CPU load of the during defense events. Reduce memory usage across the game. Saving the game is now faster. Another thing I never touched upon is how is this game going to run not only on like just the Nintendo Switch and the Playstations. But how is it like there's full cross play? So you could have you could be playing on an Xbox, your friend could be playing on a Nintendo Switch, another friend could be playing on a PlayStation, and another friend could be playing on a PC. As of right now, the having every time I played multiplayer, I've never I've never had a good multiplayer experience in, experience when not hosting. And vice versa. Whenever I've hosted and other people have joined, they always have high ping, they always have uh like lag desync and stuff like that and i've had the same when i was not hosting and we all had high speed internet so and most of us were playing only on pc so it was uh it's going to be hopefully they optimize it to make it so the experience for the new players coming on the new platforms is more smooth than it was for the rest of us that have played up to this point 
Got lots of bug fixes here. We'll just do the ones here at the top. Audio logs that were collected but not showing up in the data will probably show up. This was affecting people getting 100%. Animations audio are correctly. Blah, 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 blah. Some buildings placed in very specific locations will no longer be unsupported. Okay, this is just, uh, I'm just going to skip this, honestly. Bugs will interact with the world around them more often. Ladybugs chasing aphids, aphids dropping honeydew, etc. That's cool because one thing, even though there was some, there's bugs in the yard, it's kind of felt like a lot of times the, the yard was kind of weird because the bugs would be walking around. There'd be like little, inter, very little interactions. Uh, you can steal from aphids while wearing sleek aphid slippers. Uh, da, da, da. Buildings cannot be placed inside stem pallets. Digging up koi fish bones and scales as a client no longer has them float up quickly and teleport. Okay, these are just basically bug fixes. So let's, that's actually it. Okay, so kind of what are my thoughts on this? Um, for, like I said, I saw some gameplay of the New Game Plus and it definitely looked interesting. I've said all along that for me, New Game Plus is not something that I'm like super hyped for because I've tried it in other games and I really was just not, it wasn't just, it wasn't for me. I'll probably try this at some point in the future, but right now the only thing I was hoping was that they kind of didn't reveal like a new feature. For me, the one thing I was looking for was better base defenses because they have talked about in the past multiple times wanting to do better base defenses and stuff like that. So I was really hoping that this update would maybe have at least some new traps for better base defenses and then maybe just like a way of ha like more customization on the base defenses, like being able to uh, determine like the frequency or maybe just having like a completely standalone game mode with the with the base defenses. Obviously, that's not happening. I know base defenses were kind of like more of a niche thing. Not everybody enjoys them. I'm one that did enjoy them. The new game plus, I guess, for those that want to keep playing forever, this will basically give you a forever mode. I guess it'll be interesting to see how far people get in new game plus. I know in Starfield, I think people are doing like new game plus 10 or something to unlock everything. So it'll be, I'm curious to see how many you can do in this game. I'm sure somebody out there years from now will be at like new game plus 100 or something like that, or they'll just keep going. But for me, I'll probably check it out at some point in the future. Right now, I'm probably not going to take a look at this unless there's something missing from here that I that I didn't see. But anyway, let me know in the comments down below. If you're new to the game, if you're just picking the game up today, whether on PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, or, any, or Xbox or PC, I have lots of videos on my channel. This is the final content update for Grounded. It's been a long journey, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it, and I will probably check it out at some point in the future. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.